One of the things you might want to do to organize all your Google Earth places is to add a folder. So you click over My Places, right click, hit Add, Folder, and name it. I'll name this folder Dickens. You don't have to, have to add anything else to it. You can add a description if you wish, but it's unnecessary. Click OK and you can see you have a Dickens folder. So now you can place all your searches in that Dickens folder. Let's look for Westminster Abbey. That is where Charles Dickens is buried. and it will go to Westminster Abbey. Now what you can do is the easiest way to add this down in your places is to click right click and save to my places. You will see that it does go into this area and you'll see that it lines up perfectly with Dickens. To make it a sub area of your Dickens folder you grab onto it and you see the plus sign as there's a square over Dickens, just let go, and you can see now how it's indented. Okay, you might want to add some information to Westminster Abbey, but first we need to pin this area. So what you want to do is you want to add a pin, and we will say Westminster Abbey. We might want to add a link and a description. First we'll add the description of this is the burial spot of Charles Dickens. Okay, And say you find a, uh, a website on Charles Dickens web, uh, Westminster Abbey. So let's click onto this website. Right click and copy. Go back to Google Earth. We can add that link paste it by hitting command V or right click paste click OK and now it's going to embed a link into that area we might as well add an image as well and since you have an image on the site you can right click and copy image location when you go back into this area again you can right click and paste click OK and now you will not only have a little description and your teacher might want a little bit more than just a caption on there but you also have this embedded web link and you also have this image embedded and this is called HTML when we click OK you'll see a pin spot occur when you click onto that pin spot oops, you will see that what I wrote in there, this is Barrel Spot of Charles Dickens. I probably should have hit enter here. That's all right. Um, if I click onto here, it will go to that website, and here is the image location. So when I click onto there, it will go and open that web page right inside of Google Earth, which is kind of nice. You can go back to Google Earth and do that again. And that is how you add a pin to your Google Earth area, you add a description, an image, and a website into your Google Earth description area.